So you wanna learn how to rush the puck as a defender. Well, I'm gonna make the assumption that you're playing defense in your zone and you're aiming to make a decision about how and when to rush the puck as a defender. So the main things that you wanna pay attention to, and this is something that is you know, very, very basic, but sometimes people don't understand it, is you want to pay attention to, are you seeing logo or are you seeing numbers? Imagine if you could see my numbers, uh, that's when you would be rushing. Now, if you can see my logo, that's when you would be containing. Those are kind of your main points. So if you see, if I am the attacker and you end up seeing me pick up the puck and I have enough time and space to open up my chest to you, then as a defender, you want to be containing. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. If you see that the puck is bouncing and that I haven't yet had a chance to turn around and you see my numbers, then, and I'm trying to pick it up like this, that's when you're rushing. So that is the key, the key part of that. So what that looks like as a defender is, of course, if you see the back, you're gonna you know, cross check right from behind as hard as you can. No, I'm just kidding. You can't do that. What that's gonna look like is you're gonna take more steps towards that person. So key thing is if I'm seeing the numbers, I'm gonna continue to close my gap and take steps. If I see logo, I'm more likely going to just back off and keep and keep my space here. Now in terms of like the actual mechanics that we want to use to do that, I'm going to go over a couple. So on the rush, it's important that we are wide and we're not taking, you know, long strides, but in fact, short, wide tracking strides. Um, and we call this like the stutter or the ice dragon. So if I'm rushing the attacker, I'm staying nice and wide. And the reason I'm staying wide is because even though I wanna close the gap this way to take their time and space, I still wanna be able to react either left or right. Because if they cut left, I need to be able to cut left. And if they cut right, I need to be able to cut right. In terms of containing, the two mechanics I like to use for that are the anchor and the soft drag. So when I'm approaching the attacker and I see the chest, and I've taken a few strides, I like to be able to use a quick anchor stop or a quick soft drag stop so that I'm still wide in my stance and I can go left and right. Because if I come in and I come in and I contain and I do a two foot stop like this, if he or she wants to go this way on me, then I'm stuck. But if I come in and I anchor stop, boom, I can still attack and or I can still defend by going left or right. So those are the two mechanics that I use when I'm defending and rushing the attacker. So when I see numbers, I'm gonna close the gap with short wide tracking strides so I can go left or right, but still take away the time and space. And then when I see logo, I'm gonna back off, I'm gonna contain, and the mechanics I'm gonna use are gonna be a soft drag stop or an anchor stop. Now, if you wanna learn precisely how to do those mechanics because you haven't been taught them or you're not sure if you're doing them correctly, I have actually put together a training in the downhill skating system, which is part of the Train 2.0 Plus membership. And so I've created a link here that you can sign up and you can learn that. That's what you wanna do if you want to get better at rushing attackers. So I hope you learned something in this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.